All right, so now we are going to start making our Balin in HFSS. So let me share that right now. All right, so I have HFSS open. I have my equal angular spiral antenna that I uh, made a few videos back. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, save a copy of this. So I'll just call this uh, spiral two underscore Balin. Right, and I'm just gonna delete some things to get out of the way. I'm gonna go delete uh, our radiating surface here. I'm gonna delete our cavity, and also uh, just delete the cavity back here. So we just have our simple spiral antenna, spiral arms, and the substrate. And uh, as a reminder, the substrate is on top here. The <clears throat> The spiral arms are underneath the substrate on the bottom side, so that way our balun will connect from beneath. So, um, also I want to go in here. We can see that the spiral arms become very small in the center. We don't want it too small, so I'm just going to adjust our spiral here. I'm going to go to our variables here, and if you remember, W is the width of a. Uh, the source here, how small it gets here. So currently it's at 0.15 millimeters. Let's make that actually 0 0.6 millimeters. And we can see, okay, when we do that, it totally destroys our antenna. So we need to change some other things. Um, let's make B1, uh, how about one millimeter? Let's see what we get from that. All right, so the antenna has fixed itself a little. Maybe let's try a B1 is two millimeters. B1, of course, is the distance from the center to how far initially the spiral arm extends outwards here, this uh, this length here. So we can see that looks good. Um, yeah, we might keep this at keep it like this. Let's reduce the number of turns though. Maybe number of turns to five point five. Okay, a little less. How about 4.5? <clears throat> All right, that's good. So the reason I made uh, this width here, 0.6 millimeters, is because when we get, if you wanted to get things manufactured, um, usually like a PCB way, they can only make things substrates so thin. I believe a uh, 0.4 millimeters is the thinnest they make their substrates. And even 0.4 millimeters is pretty difficult to work with because it's just very delicate. So uh, I made the, the width here 0.6 millimeters. And so that means our balun, the sub, our balance substrate is going to be 0.6 millimeters. <clears throat> so let's get into making the balance. So I'm going to, let's define some uh, new variables here. Of course, we need the dimensions of our balance. So let's make h underscore balun, which is its height. Let's just make that. Uh, 20 millimeters for now. And then we also need a uh, y underscore base. That's the direction of the y direction. That's going to be, uh, let's make that 10 millimeters for now. And then of course the width, which is x underscore base. That is going to be, uh, well, that's actually going to be our our W here. So let's just put in W. All right. And then what other variables do we need? We also need a Y naught. So Y naught is also W. So we have that. And okay, we also need N1 and N2. So N1, these are our boundaries for the T variable when we make our exponential shape. So let's just let's just start by making them a uh, one. Let's just make them one and two for now, and then I'll show you what happens when we change them later. So one and two there, and I believe that's all we need to make our balance. So let's make the balance substrate. Just make our cube here. So the x size is of course x underscore base. Y size is y underscore base. Our z size is h underscore balun, or actually negative h underscore balun, because we're going to have it uh, going in the downwards direction. And then our position, our x and y, 
uh, positions are centered. So we're gonna keep that as negative X underscore base divided by two. Our Y is centered, so we do Y underscore base divided by two. And then we're starting at Z equals zero. And then there we go. We have our balanced substrate here feeding the spiral antenna at the center. <clears throat> All right. And so you want to go here. I'm going to rename this uh, balanced substrate. I'm going to make the material FR4 epoxy. I'm just going to make it blue here. All right. So there it is. <clears throat> now let's just uh, get into making our exponential side of the balance. So we need to add uh, those other variables, the A, B, C, and D that we calculated in OneNote. So A is going to be um, H underscore balance divided by uh, exponential of N2 minus exponential of N1. B is going to be negative A times exponential of N2. C, C we calculated to be a negative Y underscore base plus Y naught divided by two times N1 minus N2. And then D, D we calculated to be a negative Y underscore base divided by two minus C times N1. <clears throat> all right, and I believe that's all we need. So now we go to our equation-based curve function here. Our X, if we see here on the exponential side, our X is just this plane here and that plane we can see is just w over two. So, and that's just where our curve stay, stays on the w over two plane. So x here is just w over two. Our y, as we calculated, is just c times underscore t plus d. And of course our z is just a times exponential of underscore t plus b. Our start t is n1, our nt is n2, and our points, I'll just make a new variable called NOP number for number of points. And we'll just make that 500 for now. And there we go. We have the first side of our exponential curve. And then again, to make the second side, we just take our Y function here and make it all negative like that. And we can see it makes that right side very nice. All right, so now that we have those curves, um, let's just make the, the upper and lower boundaries so we can unite all the lines and make a plane. So let's start with this uh, <clears throat> upper boundary here. Let's make a, not, a, not that, but equation-based curve again. So X, X just stays at W over two here. And then our Z, we can see our Z just stays at uh, zero millimeters here. Now the tricky part is our y. So I'm going to make our start t negative 0 0.5 and our nt 0 0.5. And since it's just a straight line, we just need two points. So y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a negative underscore t <clears throat> plus 0 0.5. So that way, if we plug in negative 0 0.5 here, or actually, okay, we don't want plus point 0 0.5, we want minus 0 0.5 here. So like I was saying, if we plug in negative 0 0.5, into this side, this will all just go to one. So negative 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, that's negative one times another negative, that's just positive one. So we can multiply this by, uh, so we can see right here that this inner boundary is gonna go to from negative W over two to W over two in the Y direction. So this is gonna be negative W over two. Uh, we're actually, negative y naught over two, they're the same thing, so it doesn't matter. But uh, I believe y naught is what we use for the balance. So now that we have that, we just add 
then we have underscore t plus 0 0.5, then times, this is gonna be positive y naught over two. So we can see here that if we plug in negative 0, point, negative 0 0.5, then the left side will go to one and the right side will just go to zero. But if we plug in positive 0 0.5, the left side will go to zero and the right side will go to one. So uh, let's also, we can't see the, we, you can't really see the line here, but there it is, equation, equation curve three. All right, so now let's make the, <clears throat> the boundary on the bottom of the bound here, right here on the, this side. So back to equation-based curve. Um, and all we need to do is we need to change, uh, well, we need to change Z. So we need to change this to negative H underscore balance. Then we also need to change Y. So this is Y underscore base and uh, Y underscore base right here. And again, you can't really see it, but it's there. And uh, I'll prove it by uniting all of our lines here. Right here, unite. And if, if this works, then we could go to edit, surface, cover lines, and it should make our plane here like that. And that is the ground side of our bound. So, uh, Let's just call this ground underscore ballon and let's just make it black. Okay, so that's pretty much the hard part out of the way. So now just to make the positive terminal, we're just it's just gonna be a rectangular strip. So let's just make our rectangle here. And of course our rectangle is on the wrong plane. So we need to put it, what we do is we go to highlight create rectangle here. And we go to our properties here and we can see the axis is Z. That's because the Z axis is the one that's perpendicular to it, but we want the X axis to be perpendicular to it. So we go there. All right, and uh, I'm not sure where our rectangle is here. There it is. So let's just go into create rectangle here. So it's Y size is um, Y naught. It's Z size is negative H underscore balance because we want it to go downwards. And then it's position, it's X position is actually gonna be negative Y naught over two. It's uh, Y position is uh, also negative Y naught over two because it's centered. And then Z position is zero. And there it is right there, our positive terminal. So let's just call this uh, positive underscore balance, and let's make that white. All right, and there it is. There's a positive side and the negative side. And so that's pretty much uh, all there is to it. We can do a few more things. We can, well, we can see here that uh, it's connected, uh, but we need to move the source. So if you really wanna use your the balance, you have to move the source to the bottom of the balance. So let's just, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, grab our source here or yeah, right here, our source. Let's just go to move here or whoops. Uh, let's do that again, move. Let's grab the center. I'll just move it right there and edit it here. So we're moving it to zero, zero, negative H underscore balance. All right, and we can see the source has moved beneath the balance right here. And then of course, uh, if you want to do that, you would have to reassign it. So we, have to, we would have to delete it from excitations and reassign it again. But first let's assign the ground and the positive part of the balance. Uh, this should say Balan. So right click, assign boundary, perfect E. Okay, take this, assign boundary, perfect E. There we go. <clears throat> then we go to source, assign excitation. 
our port is a lumped port. And of course, we're going to make the ground the reference. And there we go. We can see everything works out very nicely. And then also, I want to point out that, again, this is a very robust design. If you want to change the exponential factor of the ground side, well, if you want to do that, you have to go into your variables and you could change n1 and n2. So for example, let's see what happens when n2 is much larger. Let's say n2 is 5, n1 is 1. We can see we get a much more fancy exponential curve. Uh, if we change n2 to, let's say, uh, 10, it becomes even more thin. We can also change uh, the, the dimensions of the balance, like uh, the y direction and the z direction, and even the x direction if you want, if you make the, the part where the spiral arms come together, if you make that much bigger. So we can see here uh, y base. So y base, we can make that, let's say, 15 millimeters. There we go. It becomes much more fatter. Okay, we can see the we designed it so that the ground side uh, just attaches to the corner here. It always follows the size of the ballon. And then we can also change the height of the ballon. So h underscore ballon. Let's say we want to make it uh, 30 millimeters. And there we go. It becomes much more longer. So that's pretty much all there is to making this tapered ballon. And now we have a way to feed our spiral antenna and even going into, go into uh, manufacturing it. So I hope that helps.